Does Caspa have the potential to reach the top 10 in this next bull run? This is a question many are asking themselves and are wondering if this is possible. Welcome back to the Finance Bull channel. In this video, I'll walk through the current CASPA situation and analyze if it's theoretically possible for CASPA to reach the top 10. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and smash the like button on this video so you won't miss the latest cryptocurrency news. So currently, CASPA is trading just above 17 cents a coin, and we have seen a slight pullback. I wouldn't really call it necessarily a pullback that we've seen over here, but we probably will retest 15 to 14 cents anytime soon within the first couple of weeks of March, in my opinion. We can see kind of the same thing starting to happen as we saw in November from the bottom to the top, so we could expect this consolidation zone. I've seen many comments in my previous CASPA videos saying that the growth is slowly starting to slow down, so they're not expecting a huge move for CASPA, which if you think about it, it's true, but it's also not true in a sense of CASPA is already trading around a $4 billion market cap, so you won't see those 40 to 60% increase in prices per day anymore which is obvious because it would grow another two to three billion dollars in market cap per day. When a coin gets to a certain point, I would say in the top 150 to 200 coins, you're not going to see these big movements in these coins unless it's altcoin season. And we can see here the altcoin season index is saying that it's not currently an altcoin season. We are at 59 out of 100. We saw that we've recently been trending upwards of that, but as we know, the cycle starts with Bitcoin soaring to new all-time highs, which we have seen. Bitcoin is increasing. It's over $60,000 today. We saw a Coinbase crash, and we could potentially see a slight correction within five to $7,000 in bitcoin just because people were not expecting bitcoin to be this close to its previous all-time high right before the halving everyone expected bitcoin to increase substantially right after the halving after its usual dip but currently i would say we're about four to six months ahead of this bull run schedule so you might want to consider taking some profits if you do have bitcoin or ethereum but with that being said it is not currently altcoin season and when we're going back to the chart it leads me back to my conversation and saying caspa is not going to have substantial increases for now because this is no longer 2023 where caspa can have 100 percent days this is a new era where caspa is trending around 20 to 25th place in the total cryptocurrency market but we will still see some substantial growth now i was scrolling through x recently and i saw this chart by mike geno which is his rough caspa roadmap that he sees happening over the next two years which is very very conservative we can see that he drew these lines with multiple pullbacks which looks like a very healthy chart and he predicts that in this next bull run we will reach anywhere from 80 cents to looks like about a dollar in this next crypto bull run now, he also posted something like this where he said Caspa can reach $10 in these two ways. Either it breaks its current trend and it reaches $10 within this next bull run, or it'll continue the power law fair value. And by the time it reaches $10, it's going to be around 2028, which is going to be the start of the of not the next crypto bull run, but the next one after that, which is estimated to be around 2029. Now, taking a look back at this, we do know Caspo runs on an emission schedule. So every month there are some coins being released into the circulating supply. In my opinion, we will still see Caspo going upwards a pretty substantial amount still within this next bull run. But the time we're going to see the most increase in caspa is when that emission schedule starts releasing less and less tokens each and every month 
which is going to be closer to that 2029 bull run. There's another chart by this user on X that I saw earlier today where he's predicting CASPA to go upwards of $1.80, then retesting, and then going back to $9. Now, there's no dates. He did cut these off on the side. But we can kind of predict that this is 2023, this is 2024, and this is going to be that 2025. So based on my initial thoughts, he's predicting CASPA to be anywhere from this $9 to $15 range over here. Now, all of these could happen. Obviously, they got to be taken into consideration looking at CASPA's price. But looking at the total market cap, we can see one of three things happen here. Either we have a mediocre bull run and we have some black swan event that absolutely drags these markets downwards, kind of like China's economy right now where it's going downwards. And then we might only see like a $4 trillion market cap, which is barely above this peak, which was $3 trillion. The other thing we could see is this 6 to $7 trillion market cap, which is a little bit more of a conservative outflow comparing to this $10 trillion market cap, which analysts are still having strong considerations, saying that it will definitely reach $10 trillion as it will bring way more money into this bull run. We've seen Bitcoin spot ETFs being approved. Today was a record day with $3.3 billion in a single day traded within these Bitcoin ETFs. So we will see more of these days where money is being flowed into this market rapidly. Now, with that being said, is Casper capable of reaching the top 10? Looking at the top 10 right now, we can see the lowest market cap is $15 billion. Now, in this next bull run, this could either be $60 billion or minimum $120 billion. And in order for Caspa to reach, for example, $60 billion, that would mean Caspa would have to increase all the way to around this level to reach that $60 billion market cap, which could potentially be that bottom of the 10th most valuable cryptocurrency. In my opinion, this all depends on Caspa's development process. There's developments being in the process of being upgraded and completed, such as the reprogramming of the Caspa language, which is going to be the Rust code. They're increasing transactions and blocks per second, and they're implementing smart contracts, but that's still in the planning and development phase. So if we don't see any of those move within the next 12 months, we can say goodbye to Caspa reaching 50 to $60 billion. And that 80 cent to $1 range will become more realistic, but hopes are really high for Caspa and the Caspa developers behind it that we could necessarily see Caspa reaching over $100 billion. Now it will be tough, but if Cardano did this last bull run and reached approximately $100 billion market cap in 2021 before their smart contract implementation, then what's stopping Caspa from also reaching this $100 billion threshold? Because $100 billion in 2021 was a huge part of the cryptocurrency market. And in the next 12, 15, 18 months, this $100 billion is not going to be worth the same as it was in 2021. It won't be looked at the same and it'll be looked at far less because Bitcoin is probably going to be crossing two to three trillion dollars. Now, with that being said, this cryptocurrency market is only worth two point two five trillion dollars collectively, which is about the same as Nvidia's trading right now. And we can see AI tokens all the way down here, such as render the graph. And up here we have injective and ICP. We have these coins that are only worth $5 billion, $3, $4 billion, and Render is at $3 billion. If NVIDIA is worth $2 trillion for being an AI and a computer chip company, then what's stopping from one of these coins reaching $100 billion? This is why we are still so early in this cryptocurrency market that theoretically anything can possibly happen, but we just have to be optimistic about it and we will see a at least 5x within this cryptocurrency market, which leads Casper holders, including myself, very hopeful of this project and we're hoping anywhere from $5 to $10 a coin. But once again, we do have to 
shift down and look at the current chart right now. 17 cents is still very far away from five to $10. And even if we reach a dollar and 70 cents, that's a 10 X from here. So we have to be aware that these gains would be massive if it were to reach five to $10. And I'm not here to tell you guys that Caspa is going to the moon, but Caspa is surely going somewhere. With that being said, the idea of Caspa reaching the top 10 is optimistic, but it surely is not impossible as we've seen it done in the past with Cardano. And it only makes sense with Caspa's utility and the upgrades in process. If these developments follow their stages, we will definitely see Caspa at $5 per coin. But that'll do it for today's video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and smash the like button on this video and make sure you follow me on X. We're closing in on 100 followers. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.